In Acts chapter 19, we read about certain people to whom Paul asked this question, verse 2. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They said, we never heard the Holy, about the Holy Spirit. Then he says, into what were you baptized? Now this verse, by the way, proves that, that they did not baptize in the name of Jesus in those days. How do you get that from this verse? Because when they said, we haven't heard about the Holy Spirit, he said, then what were you baptized? In what name were you baptized? Because they were supposed to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. That's the point. That's how they were baptized those days. So he said, you have to have heard about the Holy Spirit because that would have been there in your baptism. And then he, they said, we were not baptized that way. Then he discovered they were baptized only with John's baptism. And so he preached the gospel to them. They accepted the Lord and they were baptized. Verse 5. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit. After they were born again and after they were baptized, Paul laid his hands on them. And the Holy Spirit came upon them and they began speaking in unknown tongues and prophesying. Just like in Cornelius' house, as Paul, Peter was praying, the Holy Spirit fell on Cornelius' house and they spake, spake in unknown tongues. Notice the different ways the Holy Spirit came on people. In Acts chapter 2, there was no preaching, they were just waiting, the Holy Spirit came. In Acts chapter 10, before Cornelius was baptized, without anybody laying on of hands, the Holy Spirit came. Here, after they were baptized, through the laying on of hands, the Holy Spirit come. It teaches us that the Holy Spirit can come with laying on of hands, without laying on of hands, before baptism, after water baptism, all by yourself when you're praying. Paul was alone praying and God sent Ananias. So it's different ways. The important thing is that they were filled with the Holy Spirit. 